This is R2 with Maryland Quad Racers, and I uh, just wanted to show you the setup that we're using. A lot of people have asked me, I've got a lot of questions about everything that we're using, all the parts, how it's all set up. So, I'm making this video to show you. So, here it is. So, this is everything that we have at our races. Um, so, we're running the TBS event tracker timing system. Uh, here on the laptop, I'm using LiveTime FPV. Uh, I'm using OBS Studio to display the LiveTime information along with the video feeds. Uh, I'm also sending, OBS is recording everything locally. If I have internet, it is streaming um, to YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Uh, and it's also driving that TV. Uh, which we have in the pits for the pilots to watch the action. So, and then this is the part that I think everybody is mostly interested in. So we have a toolbox here uh, with five receivers that all, so they're RX5808 receivers. I got them off eBay. Uh, and then, so they all feed into this security DVR. It is a night owl. 1080p light 8 channel HD something or other. Uh, I'll have the link in the description for it. Um, I removed, so right here there used to be a hard drive. I removed that hard drive um, to save weight and power since I didn't want to actually record from the DVR. Um, this is my power supply. It is a 12 volt and 5 volt um, power supply. So the DVR needs 12 volts, the receivers need 5 volts. So split that to power everything. Um, and then all of these are in theory for the pilots. Um, I just haven't got that far yet. Um, but I have these cables from, uh, from Team Black Sheep Ethernet ports on one end and then video for the pilots. Uh, I don't plan on giving them power but I can give them video if they want it. So that's the setup. I'll have all the links um, in the des video description. And so the way I built it, um, I've got this sheet of plexiglass here fastened to the box a hinge in the middle and then hinges on each side so I can take off the antennas and then fold everything inside the toolbox and it's ready to go. Um, so here I have extra antennas for every receiver, some rope that we tie down so it doesn't blow in the wind. I've got some straps here on the back side so that won't get blown over too bad. Um, so I'll show you what a race looks like. So this table here is the timing table. Of course, the event tracker will be out in the field. I have a webcam, which you may have noticed. Um, the idea for the webcam is to turn it around and point it at the field. So uh, when I record things, or especially if we're streaming a race live, uh, the viewers can just see what's going on. They don't really want to look at me at the timing table. Uh, and then I have a microphone here for the same reason. It's just pick up ambient noise. Um, so it's not just empty sound from the video feeds. Um, so I'm going to try to plug in my quad. So there you go. The feed looks pretty good. The color looks kind of weird. Uh, but it doesn't look that bad. Racing, um, it might just be because I was staring at the light. So, and then of course when we hit go over here, I also have everything going to a wireless speaker. Uh, I wonder if this will pick up. Nope. All right, when I unplug this, it should read. SFTV92. So there you go. Plug we'll it back in to generate another lap. Texas 
FTV 13.5. So, there you go. A minute ago, before I started this video, everybody was dinging the Wi-Fi, but... FTV 13.5. So, um, that's about it for all of the hardware. Um, stay tuned for the software. I'll show you how I do all of this. One more thing I forgot to point out. Hardware-wise, that is my capture card. It's a Elgato HD 60S. Um, so that's what gets feeds from the receiver and the DVR into the laptop and provides it to OBS. Okay, just to show what my toolbox looks like uh, when I close it, so everything folds in very nicely. Uh, I have this little bar here that holds it shut uh, and I can just close it up there. And I need some foam in there so things don't start moving. But so the whole thing is very light and very mobile, which is very nice when I'm setting up and tearing down. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to set up OBS Studio um, just like this to show all the feeds uh, and timing overlay logos and a webcam. Um, so let's ignore everything I have set up over here and we want to add a new scene. Let's call it DVR. Um, and this scene is just going to be the feed from the DVR. So we want to add a new source. It is a video capture device. Uh, and this is going to be the Elgato. Uh, let's put two since I already have one. So we want to select Elgato Game Capture HD. Um, I like to say deactivate when you're not showing the device. Uh, and I like to do a custom resolution, so, you know, so I make sure I know what it is. Um, okay, and so this is just a straight feed out from um, the security DVR. And so that is all we need there. So now we need another source. Let's call this one um, race. And so I like to start out um, the composite view with a white background. Just because I think that looks better than a black background. So we want to add a new source and it's an image and I just downloaded a 1920 by 1080 white image off the internet and so there's our white background now let's show um, one pilot feed so let's set up pilot one to be in the top left corner so we want to add a new source this one is going to be a scene and so what we want to do is we want to grab the DVR scene that we just created say OK and there is our DVR scene of course this is the entire thing and we don't want the entire view so the way we get around that is by going to transform and edit transform and so we want to leave all the top stuff alone and come down to crop and so this lets us crop out all the things that we don't want so we want this feed right here to stay where it is but to get rid of everything else so our left crop is zero our top is zero our right crop is going to be 1280 so that gets rid of everything but the first column and then our bottom crop we want to be 720 and so that narrows everything down to just the one feed we want so we can say close Okay, so now let's add in pilot 2. So same thing as before, we need a new scene, or sorry, we need a new source of the DVR scene. And we need to edit the transform to select just the pilot we want. So pilot 2 is right here in the top middle. So our left uh, crop is going to be 6. 40 on our right is going to be 640 
uh, and then our top is zero and our bottom is going to be 720. So now we have just the single view because our position is zero zero that's why it moved over to the corner we can just click that and drag it down and it snaps to the bottom and it snaps to the left. Um, so that's really easy. Same thing again for pilot number three which is over here in the corner okay so we need to edit the transform left crop will be 1280 right and top will be zero and bottom will be 720 you can close that out and then drag it uh, and again it snaps to the bottom and it snaps to the edge of the source that's already there so that's really easy um, so you can keep doing that to get the other feeds or you can arrange them however you want. Um, so now let's get the, the live time um, or any other, whichever timing software you're using. This is all going to work the same way. So we want to do a window capture for this because it's another window that's open on the computer. So let's give this one a new name and do it over. Um, that's me recording this. So we want the live time window. Uh, and I'm going to deselect capture cursor because um, I don't want that showing up in my recordings. And so again, this is taking up the full uh, screen. So we want to edit the transform. And so I don't know these values off the top of my head, but we can just kind of up arrow this until we get rid of those side values that I don't want. Um, same for the top. We don't want all the menu options on the TV. We just want the actual race information. Um, and then we don't really need to do right because it, it's going to get covered up in a second. Uh, and then bottom we can do, um, let's guess something big. I was pretty close, so let's move it up right about there. That's good enough. Um, so we can close that, and then we can drag it down. And it, see, it snapped to the bottom of this source, and it snapped to the left. Uh, but we don't really want this gap between the timing system and these other views. So we can select this source, and then we can drag it, and it will resize it, and we can get to close enough. Uh, so now it uses all the available space. Okay, so now we want to add a webcam. So that's another source video capture device. Um, let's name it something new. And uh, select your webcam from here. Say okay. Actually, I want to this is a 1080p webcam, but it's not coming out as 1080p. So I want to give it a custom, call it 1080p. That looks better. Um, let's say edit transform. And we don't want to crop this one, but we do want to say 1280 by 720. Um, that's still too big. Let's let's just do it this way. We can resize it till it's close enough. Okay, so and then the only other thing that I haven't showed is how to put a logo on there. Um, and so we we have sponsors for our races, some of them, and so I want to be able to show those sponsors logos. Uh, at the same time as Maryland Quad Racers logos or your chapter's logos. So instead of just doing a new image source, you can do an image slideshow. And so this is really cool because it lets you pick a bunch of images. So I can't make it wider. So um, you can set the different kinds of transitions, how much time between so let's change that to five seconds uh, and then add as many images as you want. 
Um, so I'm going to come over here, downloads. Um, so I have these two that I want to show. So it's a Maryland Quad Racers logo and a Multi GP logo. And of course, same thing once they start showing up, edit the transform to put them wherever you want. Um, so that's close enough for this. Uh, but you'll see, of course, Multi GP is a transparent logo. Luckily, we already have a background. So we would do add another image source, select our white image again. Of course, it's really big, but we can make it smaller and we can drag it so that it covers up that image. And then, of course, it's on top of that image right now. To fix that, select it in the sources and click the down arrow, and then it will show behind the image. So that's all there is to it. Um, you can add in the other sources for your other pilots. If you're running six pilots at a time, you can run, uh, just make them smaller, rearrange them however you want to show everybody. Um, you can, here's where you start recording and start streaming if you have the internet. Um, so that's all there is to it. I hope this is informative. And I hope I see more chapters doing this kind of stuff because having all this is really fun for the um, pilots to be able to see all the feeds and the timing system all together. So I will put a list of all the parts in the video description so you can see um, all the stuff that you need to do it.